What's up fellow Xboxers, this is your girl Sweet Pea here. I wanted to give a huge shout out to all the people that have gone ahead and watched a video of mine and went ahead and followed me. I mean, thank you guys so much. I'm overwhelmed by your guys' response. It's crazy. Thank you Upload Studio, Xbox, whoever that did that. And so to say thank you, uh, most of the messages I get are in regards to Call of Duty Ghost, my guns that I like to use, the classes, attachments, perks, things like that. So I went ahead and made a video um, with one of my favorite guns in Call of Duty Ghost, and that's the Honey Badger. So go ahead and take a look, and we'll go ahead and talk through all the perks and attachments for this gun. So I pretty much started over with this class just to show everybody. So go into Assault Rifles and pick the Honey Badger. I'm going to choose my little girly camo here. The VMR site's one of my favorites. I get a red dot plus an extra kind of zoom four times. So it's, you know, two sights in one. Put the foregrip on, the Honey Badger is a little jumpy, and then I like this variable scope sight, it's a little bit bigger than the red dot. For the secondary, I'm not going to use one, I'll go ahead and show you guys why after we pick the lethal here. Um, as always, my favorite thing in this game is this IED, it can be used against the enemies so well. Go ahead and use it. Um, and for our perks here, I like to be really stealthy and not have them hear me, so we're going to go ahead and use Dead Silence, Sit Rep, Amplify. I'm going to go up here and pick quick draw because I got to have faster aiming than the enemy and then because I didn't put a secondary on I get one extra perk so I'm going to go ahead and use ready up. For the strike package, be a team player. Um, either pick the support and assault and always try to choose a SATCOM. They help your team out greatly. Um, I like to use an IMS or Riley for the number five slot and then um, I've been having a lot of fun with Trinity Rockets lately so I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. So just to review um, this is my Honey Badger class. This is what I go ahead and use. So we have the VMR sight, the foregrip, no secondary, the lethal is the IED, no tactical. The perks are going to be ready up, quick draw, dead silence, sit rep, and amplify. And for your strike packages, you're going to want to put on a SATCOM, IMS, and a Trinity rocket. So let's get into some clips. Listen to this one for some dead silence and amplified action. And I wouldn't have heard that guy behind me had I have not had Amplified on. His extra boot step helped me out. This gun does shoot far. There's some people that say it doesn't. I don't believe that. I'm able to shoot pretty far. These two clips here show, at least, you know, even with the silencer, this gun is very good. I didn't see that guy. I can't believe it. And he runs away, but I'm still able to get him. So I do a little hop here. I'm excited. And it's pretty solid, man. Up close in a, you know, closer match, you're going to be able to take somebody down with it, especially if you're being more stealthy and using some of these perks and making more quiet. I'm lucky I threw a sack calm down or else I wouldn't have seen this campy camper. Good $60 right there, dude. And I think it's a fast gun. In some of these fights, you know, go ahead and, like, use also your levels. Get down prone. Get down crouched. Go ahead and do it because right here I would have died if I would have stayed up. So utilize everything they give you in this game. It's awesome. I was holding down this back area here in the lumber yard. I had an IMS behind me take a guy out. And I was lucky enough that guy just was happened to be behind there. So I'm following this way. Stick to the outside of the maps if you're unsure because you're going to find a lot of people as far as like even snipers around those areas watching for people to run in. There's a good example right there. I ran back. So now I'm going to go back this way again. This clip I just wanted to throw in. I got completely off offsided by this guy. He was just chilling in the back of the castle. The Call of Duty gods were like, that's not cool, Sweet Pea. You go back and kill him. And this is where Dead Silence, I think, comes into play. He didn't hear me. He didn't even move. And so... There you guys go. So I hope it helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, send me a message and keep on gaming, guys.